What's up, you all? Today we're talking about how to bring an avatar to life, meaning you can make it animated, you can use this for VTubing, for live streaming, for work meetings, and also, most importantly, for the obviously new meta coming right around for the near future. Avatars are very important when it comes down to tapping into VR and more, and you can use this as a universal prospect. We do have previous videos of, of how to create these avatars, so please check into those also, and like and subscribe if you're interested in content like this. Let's bring that avatar to life so you can stream with it get on with v2 being created for more mixed reality games and more let's get it and so first things first we're gonna go ahead and get this avatar created so we can bring it to life so we can use this for v2 being Twitch streaming, doing mixed reality streaming with VR, just much, much more. You can do this with meetings. Let's just get everything popping off with this avatar. Bring it to life for the new meta world and more. This is crucial. So listen up, y'all. Let's go ahead and go to animes. And we're going to go animes.readyplayer.me. And I already have it right here because I've been doing it multiple times. So let's go ahead and get it. So when we log into animes.readyplayer.me, uh, it takes us into this. You can see that I already have avatars made. So the good thing that I already have these made, I do have tons of examples in our other YouTube videos. So you want to check those out also, like and subscribe. Um, so right here you can see the echelon of all that, what I'm doing. But we're gonna for this example, we'll create a new one real quick. Uh, we do have full-on in-depth creations on your phone also. So also check those out. So we're going to go to masculine. Um... We're gonna go to continue without a photo. We'll just go ahead and choose whatever we want. Like we're, for this example, we're just gonna choose randomly. We're gonna go through a little bit faster, uh, just so we can get you into bringing it to life. So you can set up everything. You set up your skin tone. I'm gonna go with a little light skin, kind of look like me right now. Um, I'm gonna keep the face shape regular. You can change the eye, the nose, the lips, your preference. Do whatever you want on that essence. Clothing wise, you got the compression shorts. Shout out to your boy. I'm, I'm already working out right here. Let's keep them in some compressions, man. I'm and that's what I'm rocking right now. Uh, let's stay in that. The hair, um, I am in the comb over today. Get that comb over popping. Just get that. Ooh, we gentlemen started looking a little good. You can rotate it. You can do whatever you want. After that, um, let's go ahead and throw on a simple beard on myself. Um, that that might be me. Uh, it look, it look, look kind of like, let's see. Hmm. Uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. I'll take it. I'll take it. After that, we're going to go into uh, the eye color. I'm a brown, light brown. Eyebrows, um, mine are a little, what, little, little, little archy. Um, not that art, probably right there. Yeah, that's, that sound, that look about right. Okay. Next, we're going to the glasses. Um, let's go ahead and get my eyeglasses right there. Boom, boom. Uh, this is like makeup and, uh, like face painting and stuff like that. If you want to be more artsy, uh, fun mask and everything. That's pretty cool too. But you can add tons of stuff with hats and everything. Uh, we're going to keep it just like this, though. I kind of like that little swagger, a little workout dude. Kind of look flashy. It's your boy. It's your boy. You see that? So we're done, right? Um, Now right here, it's going to prepare it. As it's preparing it, it's going to get us into a download right here. What it does is that you copy this link, and you're going to put it into another tab, and you're going to download it and it essentially comes down automatically as a dot glb you go to dot glb and you download it. it gets into your desktop then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to steam when you go to steam you have to open up animes uh, you have to download an app called animes and after that you just open it up from there you can see right here, this is how it looks. So you need to download animes. It's free. And they work coherently with uh, Ready Player Me, which is huge when it comes down to avatars. v -Royd, you have to do extra things, possibly through different engines to edit it and everything, and then finally get it into VR chat. Here, it's just a one and done. Now, it's still a lot of it's in beta. A lot of it's still trying to get figured out, but it's a huge huge component when you're trying to bring that avatar to life. So this is how it looks. Animes, you launch it. And so it's going to open up. Let's go ahead and get up in there. So right here, you can already see me. <laughs> now, you have to edit a lot of like how the facial features really go. But this is already something that I had. But we're going to really import what we do. Um, let, Let's import one that we need to bring in, right? The one that we downloaded. So you can see right here at the top of the line, it's something that we downloaded. You import it. Very simple. You just find your avatars right over here. You import it. 
You put okay. Now he's right here. Now you can see him like chilling. You can see that it's the thing about animes is that you really had to set it all up. So let me go this way. It's kind of leaning over. You can see that I have like the mic and everything already. And I want to show you how we do that. So let's go to full screen. Um, you can see though it, it it's real um uh, mouth moving, everything kind of goes as it goes. But like what I said, you had to calibrate it right here. You can see that I'm using my webcam. You can see it right here. This is a different webcam I'm using. Um, you calibrate it, it follows your face a lot, which is a cool, a cool, cool feature that they do have. Um, they have pre-made avatars also in case you don't want to use your own, right? Like, let's look at something else. See, they have all this fun. Kind of like how VR chat goes already, right? They have all their own things already. But for this example, of course, we're doing our own. So we're now, now we're right here, it has like a bunch of eye stuff. You can do everything like... You can see all my eyes moving around. So this is very, very sensitive. You have to set it up however you want. Now, there are tons of settings. We're going to go over settings on that. So make sure you leave a, a comment in the section below so you can let us know. They have all these sounds. They have all these movements. So this is if you have your own custom. We'll go over all this in more videos. That's why I said like, subscribe. Make sure you're keeping up with your boy. So right here, you can see that uh, we are doing some presets. Right here, it says stream. So you can click that. And you can set that up and put it as a green. They have their own setup green screen for you in case you don't want to do it like a stream like what I'm doing. And you can see that it's really, um, you can do whatever you want. Like you have so many, like, look at all these lights they have with it. That's crazy. So you have a green. This is really next level, guys, for it being a free app and free everything. And you could just have, like, some fun stuff with the green screen. Look at the background. Check that out. I have, like, a whole city behind me. Um, you can put all this fun stuff in there. So as soon as you want to choose, like they have a streamer with the blue. This is if you weren't doing, unless you're going to like set it up like that. But obviously <laughs> they have a hot tub, dog. Hey, shout out the hot tub. Let's look at like, say, uh, you want to do either a green screen. This is if you want to do games like for VR, if you want to do a uh, mixed reality, if you want to do stuff, but you don't necessarily want to put your own face like how I have it right here or on either, uh, either of my cameras. But right here, you can see that you could... Uh, <laughs> You can just leave it as green screen. This is if you want to just play a game and just not like want to be seen at all. So that's super fresh. And then um, like basically you would just make this. Oh, uh, you'll make your webcam disappear. And that's it. You would just be able to use the avatar whenever you want. Now, it does this have to follow you around. So you don't necessarily have to put everything into a service to where you have to stream. Um, and then you just see everything else. This is more background. So let's go into like funny stuff that they do. Also, now there is no full body tracking, right? It's just your face, kind of like your shoulders a little bit. It goes all the way up to your torso, just like if you're sitting. The only things they do have with uh, actual body stuff right now is that, like, they have some of these animations. They have the hello. Um, you can cancel out the puff one. Okay. You can give them an okay. That's pretty dope. And then you can give them, like, a shrug. And so you can do stuff with this, like, while you're talking. Like, man, like, nah, I don't feel like peachy. I don't feel like doing that, man. Um, they have tons of safe slots and presets and, and they just have emotes going down. Do the robotic one. Animes. Animes. <laughs> so they have all that stuff. Um, but my, my main thing is my main thing right here. This is where the bread and butter is at of how you bring it to life when you want to be a YouTuber and, and more. So this would be like, if you're going to be a, a YouTuber, right? We would put a cool background like right here. Boom. This would be my intro. But I could just, you can make your, your webcam just not appear on screen and just be like this. And then you would set up all the functionalities of like how sensitive you want the lips moving around and stuff. Then next, what you would need to do is that if you want to be like a streamer and have like this avatar at the bottom or something, then you would hit onto the stream with the green screen, which is easy, which means all this disappears and you're going to add this into the source. This is how you bring it to life right now. Now you can use this for whatever you want. You have the GLB file. And um, it's just it's just perfect for doing multiple things. If you have a software, you can set it right in if you know how to do it already. But if you don't, trust me, we got you. We're going to be doing this in our future videos. Um, but, yeah, this is how you do it. And let's go into the settings. This will be our last thing we go over. Go to video graphics. You can see, like, mine. You can change up my camera over here. And you can see all the resolution. You can see just there's just so much you can do. Uh, Audio-wise, advanced tracking configuration. You can see overrides you see like all these these are tons and tons of things you can do to really bring it they have like iphone you can utilize they do have an iphone app you can use 
and they have a uh, bass lip scene. You can connect those. You can turn them off. You can see like his lip starts going, and then you can change sensitivity on it. You can see my lips kind of moving. So you get to choose how complex and how how much you really want this avatar moving around. And that's what's really cool. It looks at a weird angle because I'm not looking at the webcam, but when I look here, you can see like, oh yeah. It's kind of just how you do it. You do it through all the settings and everything. And that's how you bring it to life. So a simple breakdown of this real quick. You go to animes.readyplayer.me. Then after that, you create your avatar. You copy, you download the link as a GLB file. After that, you're going to go into Steam, then download the Steam app Animes, and then you open up Animes and you import it into your own avatar. Very easy step by step. I'm going to leave it in the description box below, but that's how you bring it to life. And um, trust me, you can use this for streaming, for VTubing, and more. You just keep this as a live and you put it into your software and how you want it and we'll be showing you that uh essential next you can use Streamlabs and more and you just add it into a source so that's how y'all do it man i appreciate y'all so much and sure you give us a thumbs up a like and subscribe it really does mean the world to us i appreciate y'all peace